Hi, I'm Scott and I'm an American in Bangkok. Yesterday, I put up a video, letters to Thailand and a gentleman from the Midwest, 44 year old male, stated that he wanted to move to Thailand to pursue his lifelong dream of finding and marrying an Asian woman. I joined a dating site, Thai Love Links, and I was overwhelmed with responses. I wrote a brief but polite intro in my profile and uploaded a few pictures. I'm an average looking guy who looks a bit young for my age, but I did manage to get over a hundred messages with some very lovely Thai ladies and they are still coming in. While they are not all beauty pageant contestants, they are all lovely in their own way and have the beautiful Asian figure that we all love. Well, not all of us love it, believe me. There are people who like bigger bodies. There are people who don't like Asian bodies because they figure Asian women don't have very large breasts and they have flat butts. And anyway, I digress. Often these ladies are educated well above me and I suspect some of them have some money socked away. Others are living in Bangkok far from their families back home and they eke out a living in, the, in that great big city. I can say that my sweet spot for women, is, for women is between the ages of 27 and 33, but I have received interest from girls as young as 22. Many of these women already have children or are looking to make more. However, I already have three children here in the U.S. and I'm not exactly a spring chicken anymore. I've spent a good deal of time Skyping with some of these girls, and of course, I am quite smitten with them. I don't know why, of course. Listen, the bottom line, excuse me, I need some water. The bottom line is this. It's nice that, you know, you look at them, you say, wow, nice, attractive, lovely Thai girl. She's so polite. She's so sweet. And, you know, she's got the body that I like. And But, you know, you're on the Internet, man. I mean, you know, I don't know how you're smitten with them. It's nice. Hey, you know, I met somebody. They're cool. All right. Great. You know, she's a lovely girl. Very nice. But don't get smitten with them, okay? Uh, you know, you're a little too romantic in this. Uh, f Listen, I'm a, I, I can be very romantic with my wife. All right, but you're way too romantic and have this ideal of Asian women that I just think is too much for not being here, for not being involved with Asian women before. And you know, it's starting to bug me. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's see, where was I? Uh, the language barrier is more of an obstacle than a real barrier. I've told these ladies that I cannot fall in love over the internet, but when I make it to Thailand, perhaps we will progress in our relationship. Now that's probably one of the smartest things that you wrote to me. I can't be sure where this will all lead, but I'm excited about the prospects. I'm not really interested in bar girls per se, but I suppose that could change once I'm there. I'm the kind of guy that would rather have a wife who is my personal bar girl behind closed doors. I'm hoping that I can nurture some long distance relationships so that I will have some friends there when I come. Well, that's another intelligent statement that you made. Having, a, you know, some friends when you come. I think, honestly, like I said, uh, your expectations might be a little bit high. You know, yes, you're you're 44, and you could you could easily, with a little bit of time, you put the time in, you stay here, you learn a little Thai, and you learn about the culture. You could pretty easily find a woman between say 26 and 35 who either has like one kid or has no kids and is still very sweet, very raw, we'll say, and, and, and unspoiled. You can find that. But the thing is, is that you're the typical kind of guy who comes to Thailand and their eyes are wide open and it's like, wow, man, you know? And I just think that you need to really pull back. Pull back. 
whatever happens happens don't have this super romantic ideal of uh, getting married to a lovely Thai woman and and uh, I just think that it's too much and for me when I read this kind of stuff it's like man uh, disaster waiting to happen I mean I hope I'm wrong and and maybe you know you've got your head on a lot better than I than I think but I'll tell you something about the the uh, dating sites you know the women are on those dating sites because they're looking to hook up with guys either for the for a quickie for a one-time deal or they're looking to find somebody who is as they call here in Thailand a sponsor they want somebody who's gonna take care of them for the rest of their lives now if you find a professional woman online I would be extremely leery of 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 this person why because Thai women here generally they're very shy about uh, men and hooking up with men once they hook up then they're not shy at all so anyway you know what I think I think it's you just better pull back the reins and just have a good time take your time don't worry about hooking up do not marry anyone I would say give yourself two years you come to Thailand you learn how to speak the language you, you learn the culture that's gonna be six months to a year stay with the woman for at least a year to a year and a half and then decide you're gonna marry tell her you'll marry her whatever but you're gonna do it a year in advance <laughs> you, you know you're gonna tell her a year in advance you're not gonna get married straight away anyway that's all for now. I'm Scott. I'm an American in Bangkok. Please consider making a donation to support my upcoming photo expedition in Myanmar. You can do so through PayPal by sending your donation to scottmallon at me.com. Thank you.